I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi Mahjong, there are links in the video description below to tutorials and some recommended reading materials. Look for those links so that you can learn the fundamentals. Also, there's a link to this quick reference. In here is the Yaku table and scoring. If you're new to the game like me, this could all be a little overwhelming, and that's why this reference is so helpful at least until you have it all memorized. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls. I have a Hanshin indicator with east and south round, so we'll alternate starting with east round. For this first random pull, we are going to be east, since I rolled a five. That just keeps the variables fresh. So we're going to be player one, and Dora will be a one crack. So we are east, Dora is one crack, and it is east round. So for these tiles, we have six bams, three dots, four cracks, and a green dragon. Here's a pair, here's a pair, two pair, no Dora, but we do have a two, and one crack is Dora. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on, and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, the first thing I would think of is Pinfu and Ricci. We have a pair. Here's a Chi right there, five, six, seven. Here is a potential Chi with a closed weight, a potential Chi with an edge weight. Here we have a potential Chi with a closed weight, the three crack there. And then here we have another closed weight. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. If we could improve these closed weights to a side weight, we could play Pinfu. But we could even just play Ricci. If we were to draw, well, we would discard to start the game. So let's just say we discard the green dragon first. And then maybe on our next turn, we could draw a three crack or an eight crack and discard and be ready to win on Ricci. Because we have a closed, two closed weights here, it wouldn't be Pinfu. Pinfu is when you have a valueless pair, so we would have to discard the dragon, and you have to have a side weight. So for example, a side weight would be five, six. You could win on either a four bam or a seven bam. So if we were to draw one of the tiles to complete these ch two chis, we would be left with a potential chi with a closed weight in both cases. So we wouldn't qualify for pinfu. The other thing that I was thinking for this hand is if we held off and try to improve the weights to a side weight, we could do Ricci and pinfu. We could also discard the nines and try for Tanya, which is all simples. Since we would then have four discards though, we would have work to do. Now there is something else that I do see, five, six, seven, five, seven, and seven. So maybe I would discard the green dragon and the five bam and see if we could maybe get another five or six crack. Then we could maybe consider mixed triple chi, which is called Sanshoku Doku. Mixed triple chi, same chi in three suits. 
So there's interesting possibilities here. And I would just take it pick by pick. But my first focus would be staying concealed and improving the weights. I think that's how I would play this one out. South round, second random pull. And this time we're going to be in west seat since I rolled a seven. Forgot to draw Dora. Three crack is Dora right here. Three crack. We have six cracks, including a pwn of fours and a pair of sixes. Then we have four dots, three bams. So if this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I would focus on Tanyao or all simples. Simples are two through eight. So I would discard the nines. We have a potential chi with a closed weight. We need the four in the middle. We have a three, four side weight. Here's a pair. Here's another pair. We could use one of these potentially as a pwn. And then here we have a side weight, five, six or a closed weight. Either way, we need the four. So I probably would discard the three. I would discard the nines first. But here we have one, two, three, four, five. Five blocks. Another thing I was thinking is we could have potential here for, I think it's called Ipiku or Ipiku. I'm not sure. But if we take these two pairs and break it out, we have a potential for four, five, six, four, five, six. That is a concealed Yaku. So we would have four, five, six in one suit. Same chi, same suit. We also have potential for four, five, six in another suit. And we do have a five here. So there's a lot of four, five, six potential there. This may or may not be a pwn, but it could be cheese. So I would stay concealed, focus on two through eight, look at ways to play Tanyao, maybe I Piku or E Piku, and potentially mix triple chi if we can get a four bam or six bam. Although if we get a four bam, that would be a chi right there, three, four, five. So I think for a quick win, maybe Tanyao and stay concealed for Ricci. And of course we would have Dora here. So I think I would try to stay concealed and try for Tanyao and Ricci with Dora. Maybe Aipiku or Ipiku. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it's two chis in the same suit, the same chi. Four, five, six, four, five, six. Now we're going to do east round. Third pull. The progression for Dora with winds is east, south, west, north. So south would be Dora in this case. And we're in south seat. We don't have any south. We have an east and a west. Here we have five bams, three cracks, and three dots. One pair. Oh, there's a pair. We have two pair. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards.
if this were my hand, my first thought is outside hand. That's where you have a one or a nine or winds or dragons in each block. But there's a couple challenges with that. Outside hand, by the way, is called Chanta. So with that, east is the door indicator. So there's only two more left of this tile. So that might not come in. Also, we would have to sacrifice pair fours and the five because you cannot use four, five, six with Chanta. You have to have one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine in the blocks. But we do have a one, two, an eight, nine, and then we have ones and a nine. These are isolated in regards to Chanta. So we really only have two blocks. So I don't know if that would be a good, a good thing to do here. What might be better is to discard these and draw and see if we could get number tiles to play Pinfu and Richi. If it goes well and we get ones, nines, and chi tiles, we could maybe play Jun Chan, which is where you have a one or a nine in each block, no honors. So I think I would discard these first and try for Pinfu and keep Jun Chan in mind, terminals in all. Because look at all these terminals that we have. We would have to sacrifice the fours though. So I think plan A would be Pinfu and Richi and try to get Chi tiles. And then if we did well with ones and nines, maybe sacrifice the fours. I'm new at this, so I could be wrong in that plan, but I do see where all these terminals could come in to play with Junchan if the drawing goes well. Last one, south round. This time I rolled a nine. That's not a nine, that's an 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So we're going to be player three. One dot is Dora. We have two. We have one BAM. We have three cracks, including a pair. Then here we have six dots, including a pair. And we have four, five, six chi, five, six, seven chi, or four, five, six, seven potential chi's. And then we have some single honors. We're in west seat and it is south round. We have a West right there. So if this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? My first instinct would be to go for a half flush. Dots with honors any combination of winds and dragons, but these are singles. We have four discards, including sacrificing a pair of fours. So on second thought, I think I would try for Pinfu and Richi, all chis, discard the singles. We have a potential chi, potential chi pair with Dora, potential chi, and we have a four here. We have a four, five and a four, five. We even have a four, five, six, but we do have potential for mixed triple chi, either three, four, five or four, five, six. It's a little light with bams, but there's a possibility there. So I think I probably would discard the single wins and collect number tiles, try to collect number tiles, three through seven. Specifically looking for threes and maybe sixes because then we could maybe do mixed triple chi. P 
Kin Fu and Ricci. And Dora. If you are new to Ricci Marjan and you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. Make sure that you download this quick reference so that you can study the Yaku. Look at your dealt hand, see where the strengths lie, and try to identify some potential Yaku. And then think about what would need to happen to get that hand to Tenpai, which is ready to win. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Richie Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.